Hi, my name is Ralph Green and I'm here to Texas Gospel Music Hall of Fame and the museum and we're here to talk about albums uh, as a, another part of the virtual tour here and uh, it was it was great to collect these not only enjoy the albums but I thoroughly enjoy the album covers so uh, you know maybe that's a thing of the past but it was it was a great thing to see all of these covers and uh, follow your favorite groups through through that um, when, when quartets traveled, and, and I traveled with Bob Wills and the Inspirationals here at Texas Group for, uh, for several years, and I want to talk some more about uh, the, these albums here in, in this record rack. Now, first of all, the record rack is, uh, I mean, that's something that every quartet needed. We used to put them on tables, and then when you get two or three albums, we would take them, we would put them in these record racks. And, uh, and I've put on the front here a few of my favorite albums. I want to tell you that this, this album right here, it says on stage, and it's already been talked about a little bit here, uh, but uh, because of the microphones, uh, but, but this, this album here, the Blackwood Brothers Quartet live performance, the very first album that my father brought home for us to listen to. This is a special album to me. It's, uh, I mean, it was a trendsetter. If you'll notice in the middle of this album, there's a young man with a snare drums. Now, we being a pretty conservative group, Southern Gospel Music, this was a, a real risk, I guess, that J.D. Sumner took, and uh, he was known for uh, uh, being an, an innovator and a pioneer in new things. But this is Billy Blackwood in the black suit, and he uh, has his snare drum in front of him, and, and, uh, and I tell you what, I, I've, I've made joke about it, but actually he's a great, dr a great drummer, but uh, during the day I had always said that uh, Billy was the greatest snare drum player I'd ever heard. My favorite tenor singer of the day was uh, Jim Hill, uh, another Ohio boy who uh, lived not too far from us, great, wrote great songs. He wrote uh, What a Day That Will Be, and I just love to hear him singing. When I left home at 17 to start traveling professionally for my very first time, which was pretty early to be starting, I sang with this, this gentleman here. His name is Smitty Gallon. Great, great singer. Uh, greatest lead singer ever to sing in our, in, our, in our business of gospel music, Southern Gospel Music. And uh, I tell you, all of these albums here um, made this album happen. This was my brother and my sister. When we were kids, all we wanted to do, all we ever wanted to do as kids was to hear these people sing, learn from them, and be gospel singers. That's my heritage in gospel music, and this has been going on for 55 years now.